Hi, this is Sarah Marks, one of the librarians here at UMass Lowell. Today, I'm going to go over some of the resources we have available to our nursing graduate students. It doesn't matter if you're working on your master's degree, your DNP, or your PhD. We have the resources you need to complete your coursework and your final projects. I'm starting with our back to college guide. This is a landing page where most of the resources you need, not just for the library, but for the entire campus can be found. You'll see we're looking at an older version of this video, but there's an introduction as you scroll down about what kind of resources you'll find on these pages. We keep this updated, so there might be times where content has disappeared or been added. We add as we can. So if you find a resource you like, please let us know. Preparation is the section that's not library specific. It has the email information, Blackboard, SIS, and other resources. We do highly suggest you get an ID card so that you can easily print when you do visit campus and check out books when you need to. In academics, you'll find the bulk of the library's resources. We have databases or search engines of scholarly peer-reviewed articles. This is the primary set of resources you're going to want to use. Yes, you can sometimes get them in Google, but our databases allow you to sync with the full text or our interlibrary loan system to request them for free. We have databases that include CINAHL, which is a nursing collection. So all the articles are about nursing and typically by nurses. Medline, which is most medicine. This also syncs with the PubMed collection, which is slightly a little behind that, but again, you're gonna be able to get the full text. Ovid, which is a very strong classic database as things go back into the 90s but it also has alternative healthcare. Cochrane, which is our evidence-based review collection, a critical source for many of you as you seek examples of these evidence-based reviews you might be writing yourself, or you get those review articles of a topic you're learning more about. We also have a link about citations we suggest using some type of citation management software. You're going to have a lot of references in articles, books, and web pages, and this will make your life a whole lot easier. You can use any of the softwares that are out there, free or paid, but we will give you access to EndNote for free on campus. There's information about that here. And keep in mind, no matter what system you use, make sure you like it, and if you're going to use EndNote, that's the one we can help you with. Unfortunately, we might not know another system to help you with that or have access to give you advice. So please know if you think you're going to need help with this, maybe focus on EndNote. We also suggest using the Writing Center for help as they might be able to give you advice on citation that we can't. Each of these sections includes a video on the system that your database that you'd be using, links to alternative videos or more specific videos, and a link to the database you want to use. When you're all done or you need to see an example as you get started, we can show you examples of final projects for the DMP students or theses and dissertations for the master's degree and PhD students. We also have a link to how to submit information and deadlines for theses and dissertation submission. When you start conducting your own research, you might use qualitative, quantitative, or both types of research styles and tools. We have some help on how to do things like focus groups or systematic reviews, writing qualitative research reports. For the quantitative side, we have links to statistical sources. 
and you can use access, you have access to all of these. Transitions also talks to you about healthy living, time management, non-specific resources. But with the very end, with helpful resources, you're taken back to some library content. Again, there is writing content to help you write, links to getting access to Microsoft on campus, professional organizations, but from the library's point of view, library support is the most important thing on this page. We have topics from our list of FAQs, which you can search, but you can also submit your questions directly to the librarians. We are here to help, and this is the easiest way to get help quickly, because who knows where any of us are in the world these days. What isn't here might also be accessible from the library webpage. This is something you can easily find if you search on campus or simply Google UMass Lowell Library. What you'll find here is some of the most important information like library hours. If anything continues to happen with the coronavirus variants, we will put it here for people to know quickly. The main focus is our search collection. Article Quick Search searches all of our databases. This will include newspapers, magazines, books, encyclopedias, and peer-reviewed journals. But it searches everything. So sometimes you're going to want a more focused search. We've listed the nursing and health ones on that guide, but you might need to look broader or in a different direction, especially if you're doing something like public health or psychological health and psychological nursing, you might want to see a bigger collection than we showed on that guide. When you click on databases, you're taken to our whole list. If you click on subjects and you go to nursing, you'll see all the databases we've identified as best for nursing. This will include things like bioengineering, legal issues, mental measurements, the Merck index, which talks about the chemicals and the drugs. You'll also see psychology databases. Everything we have and we think is useful for you will be found here. We also list, as you can see, our nursing related guides. So anything from a class to a subject to a specific feature that you might need to know about, you can probably find the guide here including our interlibrary loan information and our Ask a Librarian. You don't even have to limit yourself to nursing. Let's say you just want a general public health set of options. You'll see if there's anything different here. Or do you want psychology? What's different in those options? You can use any of our databases. So try different ones and see if they give you different resources. Other things to note on the library webpage is in the main center, the catalog. You might not feel like you're going to use our catalog often. This is where our books and DVDs and video content can often be found. Depending on what you're researching, you might find yourself looking at books. And if you do, the catalog search is the way to do it. Journal by title is good when you're looking at somebody else's bibliography and you need to find an article they cite. Type in the journal that you're looking for. Here we have, in my history, Journal of American Association of Nurse Practitioners. Let's say that's the journal I wanted an article from, but I don't know if we have it, and I don't know if we have it in full text. And that's really what I want. I want to know if I'm going to have to make an interlibrary loan request. So I search in our journal by title. It will prompt me to log in, as will anybody from off campus, and you will have to authenticate. We have dual authentication set up for everybody off campus. You won't be able to get in if you can't dual authenticate. I'm not going to take it that far. It will show me if we have the journal or not and the date range we have it available. You can find more research guides 
Under services overview, you can learn more about theses and dissertation submissions when you're done, what borrowing privileges you have, any digital services and interlibrary loan information you might need. You can learn about our hours. We also encourage you to use our Ask a Librarian service whenever you have a question about the library or doing your research. If we can't help you directly, we'll connect you with someone who can. On our main page, you can access our FAQs. We typically put a question a week up so people can get things that are currently important, but you can see what's popular. You can also ask us a question and search for your answers, but we encourage you to directly email us. And the link to do that is right here. If you wanna email a specific reference librarian or call a library, you can do that as well. We know things are gonna change a lot through this year. We don't know what's coming. So we wanna make sure you have the information you need when you need it. And you will always have off-campus access as long as you're enrolled in a class. Scrolling down, you will see our hours. Any important changes to our hours will be here. Any changes that you might need to know about will be there as well. So whether you use the main library webpage or the nursing graduate student back to college guide, we hope you find everything you need and a way to get help if you can't find it at the moment. Good luck. I hope you enjoy your time at UMass Lowell and I'll talk to you when you need help.